Hi, this is Trey Passer, and welcome to my review of Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., uh, Season 2, Episode 12. Who you really are, <laughs> that's what it's called. Uh, this one stars, uh, guest stars, uh, uh, Lady Sip was in this one. So, uh, but this episode begins with uh, Sky and uh, May training, and of course Sky's holding back because she's fearful of her new powers and she doesn't want to hurt May. And May tells it not to hold back, to, you know, really let loose. And then, of course, you also have at the same time you have Bobby and Hunter getting reacquainted, or which is a nice use of wisdom for having sex. And Hunter says he wants to stick around now because, you know, he said he knows when things get dicey that the work, when she was working for S.H.I.E.L.D., that's what kind of came between them. But he said he wants to stick around now, so he's going to ask Coulson if he can stick around. And at the same time, Carlson is asking Matt to take a more active role. And, you know, he's, he knows he's good as a mechanic, but he wants him to come out into the field. And then, of course, you have um, uh, Fitz checking up on Sky just to make sure she's okay. And she's, you know, she wants to go to Carlson, but he's telling her, no, hold off and wait until um, I'm almost finished with the, uh, analyzing your blood. So hold off on that. Okay. And at the same time, you see... Uh, <laughs> A uh, scene at the beach where a couple of people are, you know, having s'mores and stuff. I think it's supposed to be in, in a foreign country. I think I forgot the country. I'm sorry. Well, they speak Spanish. So I'm sorry. But well, the country is in. Then, of course, you see uh, a lady walking out of the ocean. Of course, it's Lady Sip. And she's asking for, where's Kava? You know, show me where Kava is. And what she, you know, and that's all she says. And she kind of walks away. And one of the guys foolishly chases after her. And then you see her throw him <laughs> about 50 feet in the air. Okay, and she's still looking for Kava. <laughs> okay, and then of course Shield gets wind of this, and they head down there, and uh, they find you know that the, the police are holding her, and her and her sword, and she can't remember who she is. And uh, Coulson and May uh, talk to her and say that we're friends and that you're Lady Sif, and you get a little awkward conversation with her, not remembering remembering that she's from Asgard. She knows that, and but she doesn't remember exactly who she is. And they even throw in a Thor reference in there to get her to smile. Okay. And then you have, uh, they actually have video uh, of, of Sip fighting some guy who turns out to be Kree. And he hits her with this weapon he has, and which is a device that drains her memory. Okay. And you see him, uh, they, go, they head out. I think, I'm trying to think how they head out. Oh, yeah. You have Bobby and. Uh, and Matt talking about the mission and how uh, she wants to, Bobby wants to bring uh, Hunter in on it, and, but Matt is saying, no, that's, you know, that's, it's not the right time, you know, and he's reminding her of what happened with Hydra, okay, infiltrating S.H.I.E.L.D., so she's, you know, he just wants to keep the operation between, whatever it is, between the two of them, okay, and of course Bobby's kind of, you know, despondent about that, and later she kind of gives Hunter the brush off on purpose to kind of back him off, like Max said. And he takes the hint and kind of walks away. And then they track down the uh, the Cree guy, who's uh, who they find out actually is looking for um, nitrogen oxygen because I think he got injured fighting Zip and he needs nitrogen. I think nitrogen oxide, nitro oxide to heal you know his injury. And they said, "Where is that at?" In the hospital. So that's where they track him down. Okay, and he kind of fights him, kind of beats up. Uh, uh, tosses Bobby around and uh, knocks Hunter and Mac out, <laughs> and then later they capture him. Uh, they find him on the beach, opening up a big case, and they uh, shoot him with a net, which stuns him and knocks him out. And they take him back to the to the you know, to the bus, and they actually talk to him and have a conversation with him, where he where you know he tells Sip that he can give her memory back if they can give him his weapon back, which looks like a little miniature little like the lug wrench type of thing. And, he, and of course, they don't want to do the first thing. They're examining, you know, the little Cree he has, and he explains that, you know, he's really here on a good mission. He's not here to cause violence. He's here to stop, to uh, gather up all the diviners. If they found out that the diviners and the crate was supposed to be full of them, and of course, now they're not in there, of course, and he uh, hits, you know, he gets his weapon back. He actually, actually, he's going to, Help them, but he actually grabs the weapon and he kind of, you know, hits Sith with it, and that restores her memory, <laughs> of course. And then 
they find out why they're on, you know, he explains why he's there and that that the Kree actually came down to Earth earlier and they created a race of warriors, all these different creatures to fight in their army. And now, of course, you know, the Kree wanted to end that and they thought they got rid of everyone, all of them, but they got a, a message when the last season when, when the Omnibus got, you know, the, the, whatever that the dividing thing that turns guy and uh, the, the signal went off. So they sent him to c collect all the rest of the uh, diviners, but of course they're not in that case anymore, so they don't know who has it. Okay, but at the same time, then Sky starts getting nervous, <laughs> and you know, and when they're talking about you know about you know anybody else that got transformed down on the planet, that you know they could be dangerous and could probably kill people. And Sky starts getting nervous and sweating, that which causes the room to start to shake and shake, and then everybody starts looking at Sky, and Sky says, "It's me, I'm doing it." And then of course, you know, Sif wants to. Take her, and of course the Cree guy wants to kill her because you know he says she's you know she's but you know she's dead, you know she she threatened her. Of course Coulson, who's the ultimate Mary Sue, doesn't want you know, and, and May grabs her and runs off with her and kind of locks her in a room. And then you know you see uh, Sip is actually fighting to get in the kind of protective barrier, and then you see uh, the Cree guy. He's actually you know fighting Bobby and <laughs> and uh, Hunter again, uh, which he tosses them around, and then of course Hunter. Uh, Bobby kind of delays him on purpose so Hunter can shoot him with a big weapon, <laughs> okay, to knock him out. And then, of course, they convince uh, Sky knocks herself out. <laughs> you know, she shoots herself with one of those uh, night, night 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 guns. So the, this plane, the bus stops shaking, okay. And then later, uh, Coulson manages to convince her that listen, the Sif, that listen, we'll take care of her, and we'll make sure that you know she gets her powers under control, okay. And of course, they wipe out the. The uh, Kree guy's memory with his own weapon, so he doesn't know why he's there. You know, he actually thanks Shield for helping him, and then uh, Lady Sif has her armor back on, and she's and she says goodbye to Coulson and May, and she takes the Kree guy and calls Helena down, and then it takes them back up to Asgard. Okay, and that's how the episode. Oh yeah, this is how the episode ends. Hunter comes to Mac and say, "Listen, I know uh, you and Scott and Bobby are hiding something from me." Okay, uh, tell me that you know. Tell me the truth. I know there's something, and then you know, Bobby Mac tries to deny it, of course, but Hunter's not buying. And then he kind of turns around, and then he grabs Hunter and basically chokes him out <laughs> until he uh, passes out. And that's how it ends. But also, oh, I forgot to mention one other thing. Uh, when Sky, when Sky's revealed to be causing the earth, you know, the earth earthquake type thing on the bus, uh, Simmons and Fitz kind of have a. A little uh, disagreeing, of course, because Simmons is now more gun, more anti-alien, and she's kind of mad at Fitz for holding that information back about Sky. And but you know, but Fitz is hand standing firm, and then they even argue. The whole team kind of argue against each other towards the end, and then of course, and then Max says, uh, "Yeah, we should know because that at least that way we can lock her up and protect, and protect ourselves from her." And then of course, Sky walks in at that moment, which looks, you know, which is kind of you know, that's a TV cliche, and then she walks back into. Uh, like a containment room with all her stuff and locks herself in, and then that's how it ends. So this episode was okay. Uh, you know, I got, you know, Coulson just annoys me when he just instantly defends uh, Sky so much. Not not May so much, but I don't know something about when Coulson just defends Sky so much just kind of irritates me. But anyway, anyway, it was a good episode. Like Lady Sif, I love uh, the the actress who should have who really should have been Wonder Woman because she just she's fantastic. She got the height and she's just a total badass. As Lady said, uh, so she should have been, yeah, she should have been a uh, Wonder Woman. But it is what it is. But anyway, uh, this episode is okay. I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten. It was okay. Anyway, let me know what you think. If you've seen this episode, what, what do you think about it? Feel free to leave comments down below. This is Trey Pastor saying so long and take care.